Good afternoon everybody. So in this video we're going to be talking about Genius Brand International. So the last, the very first video I made of Genius Brand was when the stock skyrocketed all the way to $12. I said that it was overvalued and I wanted to short it and the stock and I couldn't short it. There was no put option to play but now there are options to play. But at this point, it's too dangerous and the risk versus reward shorting it is not worth it. Should have shot it shorted when, uh, <coughs> when, I, uh, when I made another video regarding Arnold Schwarzenegger being a shareholder. I thought it was a PR move that, and it didn't really work because the stock sold off and now it's trading at $2.80. Now that the stock is trading at $2.80, is it a buying opportunity? I don't really know at the end of the day. I'm not 100% sure. The chart, it's, it's definitely downtrending. $296 million is still a premium, and if it goes up back up to $4, uh, that would make it almost a $400 million company, which at that point, I would say it's overvalued. So you would basically, if you bought right here, you would basically gamble that it, the stock would pop back to four dollars so in my opinion this is just my opinion i think the stock's heading lower i think we're gonna see a dollar 39 dollar 80 dollar 50 in the near future here probably in the next couple weeks i say it's gonna go back down here but that is my opinion so how many of you guys went on checked out their youtube channel the youtube channel is not that big they have, if we look at their YouTube channel, I'm not subscribed by the way. Uh, if we look at the YouTube channel, as, as we, we can clearly see that, you know, they've been around for a while and at the, like some of the best views are like, you know, like 22K, uh, 36K, 159K on Rainbow Ranger. 2.1 okay it looks like they do have a smash hit rainbow ranger it seems like a lot of uh, kids like that so i mean yeah it's a mix uh the app, the the app is you know uh like i download the app and i you know it's not i watch i decided to watch some of the soul shows there was no there was no add ons on it but what they make money off is off of is like the the probably the sling sling channel and the dish channel uh, and they plan to expand further but does that equiv uh, the, that's, does that equate to a lot of money I, I don't know we'll see we'll see where the earnings report is but as of now I still think that there's more room to move to the downside I ch I checked out the network. I checked out the ch uh, the app. It only got five thousand downloads. Maybe it's lowered more now. Maybe it's like ten k. I have no idea, but I'm not impressed. Uh, none of their shows look very interesting to me. I'm, I'm watching the Warren Buffett one, and it's really bad. It's really boring. But you know, maybe it starts off boring and gets better. I have no idea, but. There's no ads on it, so I thought there was going to be some ads on the app so they can make some money, but there was no ads. So, kind of strange. A little strange to me. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I would appreciate it. I My goal is to aim for 100,000 subscribers. I'm not really asking for a thumbs up, but I'm asking for a subscribe. Even if you never watch a single video of mine again, I would appreciate a subscribe. Anyways... Genius Brand International right now if we look at the chart It's downtrending it sure it could bounce we could see it bounce back to three dollars and fifty cents So if you bought here you are gambling for a bounce Which I think is a possibility don't know for sure if it will happen But if it goes back down to a dollar thirty three A dollar fifty below two dollars. I would definitely be more interested in Buying it as a speculative gamble, but as of the moment, uh, I I'm probably gonna stay away from it. But that's just my my decision. It could, like I said, it, it the if it goes back to four dollars, I would call it overvalued. 
if I if it went back down to a dollar thirty three, it'll be more of an interest to me. But will it? It's it's stuck in the middle right now between you know buying opportunity to bouncing opportunity, really. So it's uh, it's a choice at the end of the day what you want to do, but. I'm gonna personally stay away from it and I don't like to buy falling knives and right now it's a falling knife. Andrew left. He shorted it. You should have listened to him, but again, he's not always right, but this time he was. Uh, whenever he shorts a stock, I'm cautious because you know, he doesn't short something unless he knows that he can win. And obviously, he looked at Genius Brand and he's like, this thing is overvalued. I didn't disagree with him. I thought it was overvalued. And, you know, he was right and the stock went down. He also uh, shorted Nikola and Nikola doesn't want to seem to move down. So, he shorted Tilray and he was right on Tilray. He shorted uh, Village Farm. He's right on Village Farms. He shorted Kronos. He, will, he would have been right on Kronos if it wasn't for the... Uh, acquisition of Altira for uh, for Kronos but if he would have been absolutely right about Kronos Kronos is a terrible business even though they have billions of dollars from Altira two billion dollars to be exact Canopy Growth Canopy Growth is a uh, pat a pop today I wish I was awake for this pop because I would have shorted it. Now it's kind of waiting game. Aurora, Aurora is just trading sideways today. It seems to be heading down. Afria also had a pop with Canopy today, but it's starting to sink now. Kron, same thing. Kron had a pop with with Canopy, and now it's starting to sink again. Tilray, Tilray is just doing its own thing. But it seems to seems to kind of be following Canopy too. Hexo, uh, I just went out and I just bought some more Hexo today. I I listened to their conference call. Uh, I'm and I think you know they sound they sound optimistic, and I'm gambling that big money is gonna come back in and push it out of a dollar range. Uh, maybe I'll do a reverse split. That's still a possibility. We'll see what happens in the future. Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat is uh, down 69 cents. Not too much to say about that. Zoom is overvalued and will remain overvalued. What? Oh, that's right. I didn't. I forgot Tesla. Tesla today trading around a thousand dollars. Nikola Motors. Nikola Motors is. Trading positively today, and Neo is also trading positively today too. Up thirty-two cents, four point seven five percent. Not too much to say about that. AMD, AMD is down zero point seven five cents. Liberal Health Science is down half a penny. Ianthus is down. Uh, trading sideways today. Kira, it had a nice little pop near the middle of the day. Probably gonna fade if if I could, if I could buy put options on it, I'd probably fade that. Uh, Cro Cresco Labs is that up twelve cents. Uh, True Eve is up seven cents. Harvest Health is trading sideways, and Medman is down a penny anyways that's it for my video thanks for watching guys oh almost 10 minutes yeah um yeah not too much to say about that i think canopy is going to get faded by the by the end of the day i think it's probably going to go back down to around 17 bucks could be wrong that's just speculation on my part uh aurora don't know what aurora is going to do probably trade sideways I think I think Aurora is heading lower. That's my opinion, but I think it's heading lower. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna head to twelve U.S. dollars and possibly lower in the near future here. But again, my opinion. Don't know if that'll happen for sure. Nothing is for sure in the market. 
don't forget about my subscribe and silver play button and thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this content give me a thumbs up and have a great day bye